All right, now all the sequence data is downloaded, clustered, and we have built our alignment in Genius. So if we take a look at the sample data, we're going to use the sample data to show you how to visualize the alignments. We have this here. This is data from 15 groups of freshwater taxa, which are very relevant for water assessment. So you could imagine this could be used in a meta barcoding approach where you want to do assessment. So we want to build really optimized primers. And to do this, we're going to create a figure like this. And this plot here can actually be created with primer minor. So this gives you for your 15 orders, gives you basically the base composition at each position for all the OTUs. And then here as well, a consensus sequence and some indication where you have highly variable sites and where not. So the best thing to do is to print this whole thing and to find conserved sites where you might want to build your primers or you could also, this is done with Illustrator, plot some existing primers onto here to see if they are a good match for your target taxas or not. You can see here, for example, those primers here are not working very well. So let's quickly go into R and I'm showing you how this is done. We open again package tutorial and then we have to run some commands here. We're going to set the working directory. We're going to load primer minor and then we want to basically catch all the files in this folder. We do this by list files. So what this is doing, it goes into this folder here and just basically gives us a path to all of those faster files. So if you take a look at the variable here, which is called alignments, you see here that all the different faster files are listed. And then we can run this piece of code here, which is basically saying we want to create a PDF with this dimensions. It should be, of course, very wide because we have a long alignment. And then in here we have this command plot alignments, and this can then be used to plot all of those alignments here. So let's run this thing. So it will take a few minutes because it's a lot of data. Just a quick reminder, if you take a look at these files here, sequences have to be all aligned and all of them have to be matched between those different alignments here. So primer minor will not do any alignments. It just takes what you give to it. So they all have to be the same regions and the same lengths. And you want to make sure that if you have gaps on the end, that they are also annotated with these minus signs. Okay, R is already finished. So let's take a look at what it has produced. Here we see the file primer plot complete. And if we double click on this, we can zoom in and we see here, as I told you, the plot of the variability for the 15 individual groups, which is really, really cool for primer evaluation. If you want to print this actually, I would recommend to open this with Adobe Acrobat Reader. And then here, if you go on print, you can go here on printing a poster. And if you take a look at this one here, you see already that this is divided up into several pages. So if you print it like it is now, it will print this one single big alignment onto 10 pages. You can here change the scale. So if you want to have it a bit smaller, you can also just make it eight pages just figure it out how big you like it or not. Then you can print this out and just take a pen and find some good regions for primer design. I found that it's the easiest to first exclude regions for primer design. For example, something like here, where you have quite a lot of variability. Just make some marks here to say, I absolutely don't want primers in this region. And just find the regions which are left over which are suitable for primer design. It's quite difficult to find good regions in this because, well, a gene, CO1, is highly variable. But this is also the reason why I think it's really important that you do it by hand and don't let any other program or algorithm try to figure this out because it's that difficult. So I could go on about primer design forever, but I think this is all you need for now. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to evaluate primers. So primer minor also gives you a tool, which is a little bit like 
EQPCR, which is an in silico evaluation of primers based on how good they match to the reference sequences. But our approach, I think, is a bit better than EcoPCR. So you can click here to watch how to evaluate your primers with the primer miner R package.